Good morning, everyone. What are we having for breakfast? What are we having for breakfast? Someone without a mouthful. Cereal. We're just having these apple cinnamon Cheerios for breakfast. We've got milk, apple juice, and orange juice. Did anybody take orange juice yet? I can see that this really needs a shake. It's really settled down at the bottom. No one's had it? Okay. Did you not have any juice yet? No. Okay, do you want apple juice or orange juice? Um, apple juice. Okay. So this is what our breakfast is today. Nice and quick and easy on this school morning. We typically would, are you coming to film a clip with me since you weren't here for breakfast when the other kids were starting to eat? Okay, she's here for breakfast, but everybody else is almost done their breakfast. Um, we don't typically eat cereal during the week. We usually just save that for the weekends. Everybody wants to be in my videos lately. Uh, we usually save that for the weekend, but sometimes midweek it just feels like, okay, we just need to do something quick and easy. So that's what today is. Also, I apologize. I am fighting a bit of a cold, and so you'll, you'll hear that in my voice. So, sorry you have to listen to that. But, my name is Julie. If you're new here, I am a mom to five. And today, I'm going to take you guys along and just show you everything that we eat in a day. So, the kids are just finishing up their cereal and bananas. I will have a smoothie in a little bit. That will be my breakfast. And then, I'll take you along for the rest of the day. Here's my smoothie. So, I've got almond milk, cottage cheese, frozen strawberries, and some vanilla protein powder. I feel like a broken record because I say this every single full day of food I do. I have this smoothie for breakfast just about every day. And then over here in this pot I also have, okay, those are boiling now, some eggs because we are doing egg salad sandwiches for lunch today. So I'm just prepping ahead even though it's only nine o'clock. So there's my smoothie. It is delicious. I love it with any kind of berries, but it is the best with just strawberries. First smoothie and now coffee. So I just put a bit of cream into my coffee. I have never been one to get up in the morning early and just have a coffee right away. I like to drink a whole bunch of water and then have my smoothie and then I have my coffee. So I'm drinking my coffee now. I also wanted to show you, I already have um, a package of ground beef sitting there on the counter defrosting for our dinner tonight. I like to get, make sure first thing in the morning I have everything kind of ready for my meals for the day. I mean, not everything ready, but like I'm boiling my eggs now. I have my meat ready for dinner. But I like to just kind of have everything prepped ahead of time. Like just, I get up in the morning, I know what our meals are gonna be that day and I can get ready early whatever I can. Little lunch set up here. I got all of my eggs peeled and ready to go. I'm just gonna put some mayonnaise in there, salt and pepper, and then paprika. What else do you guys add to egg salad? That's usually what I do, salt, pepper, and paprika. Pretty simple. I just got this partial loaf of bread out of the freezer, so the kids will just have egg salad on their bread. And then I also just took out a head of lettuce that is sitting here drying off a little bit. And I don't know if I'm gonna do like a salad or if I'll do lettuce wraps. A salad is just so much easier, but I'm kind of feeling like lettuce wraps today. So here's my lunch, these lettuce wraps. I will probably go back and get seconds too, but I'm gonna start with that. I've got water. The kids are going to have some milk with their lunch. We're just kind of cleaning up school stuff here so that we can eat. Sometimes I will just prep a whole bunch of sandwiches for the kids, like put them all on a plate and they can just grab sandwiches. But leftover sandwiches just don't go over that well and so often I'll end up with extra. So I just put egg salad on uh, bread for Wesley and Zara and then the other kids can make their own and then I have just extra bread here for if they're hungry and if they don't want seconds, then I don't have extra sandwiches that I am putting into the fridge. I just realized I forgot to show you that I am definitely on to my second, okay, on to my second cup of coffee. I have like a sip left of my second cup of coffee. And then after lunch here, can I carry five clementines in one hand? Probably not. The kids are asking for 
a clementine. Okay, we are just discovering that some of our clementines are a little bit. Okay, go put those in the compost. Uh, feeling for like gross oranges. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go through and feel the rest of these. Some of them are just, oh yeah, that one's just starting to go off. I didn't buy these that long ago, but I bought two boxes, so this is our second box. Hopefully the rest are good. Okay, so there's some good oranges. <laughs> when the kids are done, their sandwiches. You guys can each have an orange. So just say, no thanks, mom. You don't need to. Zara Noel. Okay, if you don't want one, you don't need to have one. But if you are still hungry after your sandwich and you want an orange, you may have one. A fat one? Yeah. Yes, Zara. There's seven people in a family, but is it? That's right. To go along with my low carb lunch, I am just having this bar now, this Love Good Fats bar. It is a keto friendly bar, and I'm pretty sure, I think, I still have a code that you can use if you buy these bars online. So, this is the dark chocolate sea salt and almond bar. These are so delicious, nice and healthy, and tasty. Well, I'm not feeling any better as the day wears on. I'm feeling a little bit worn down. Uh, the kids just all grabbed yogurt cups for snacks. That's all they had. I didn't have a snack at all, but I am starting to make supper. I am just going to put together a really easy casserole. No recipe I'm following for this. I'm just going to do like a pasta, beef, corn, tomatoes, and cheese casserole. One dish, stick that in the oven. That will be our dinner. And then we've just got to sprinkle all the cheese on top. I have my oven currently warming up to 350 degrees. So I'm just gonna stick this in here for everything to warm up together and the cheese to melt. And that shouldn't take long since everything is already pretty warm in this pan. And there it is. It looks really nice and creamy. It looks really yummy. And the good news is all the kids, okay, most of the kids, most of them, are fans of pasta so hopefully this goes over well for dinner tonight also I am just having one last coffee as we get the table and stuff ready for dinner should I be having a tea with how I am feeling today quite likely that would be better for me I'll probably have one later tonight but I just wanted one more coffee and just ending my evening off with a glass of water that's it thanks for watching bye